Hi, this is Christian Kreindler from Fine Gear, and we're here at the 2018 Super Booth to present Mixer Blocks, our analog mixing, uh, modular mixing console, which uh, comes in either metal or uh, MD laser cut MDF cases. It can be either in DIY or mounted. And the concept is very simple. You can add channels as you need, as many channels as you need. And also you can add for each channel different uh, features like auxiliary sound effects, like uh, submix buses, submix buses, a view meter with uh, audio with an individual output and another insert. And also inside, if we look, we have a preamp board and a, an EQ board with everything else on it. So we're go what we're going to what we're planning to do is to develop different types of preamps and uh, EQs. So you'll be able to mix and match for each channel, whatever you you need for for uh, for your instrument or for your mic that you're going to connect to it. Well, the story is pretty simple. I've uh, changed so many mixers in my life and sold one because I needed more inputs, or sold one because I bought another with more uh, effect sends and uh, or buses and stuff like that. So at one point, in, I said, well, why couldn't I just build one that you can not, you don't have to sell it, you cannot just add to it, whichever di direction you want, whatever features you need. And slowly but surely, it, it came to this. For, at the beginning, it was supposed to be only DIY, but now we're also making it in mounted, uh, mounted uh, form. Uh, because it started to be a lot more professional than what we what we expected to be like a sort of a toy or a gadget a DIY thing, and uh, the possibilities have started to become to to, to become apparent. And we said, okay, there, there's infinite possibilities to do this. We're also going to we also decided to publish everything in an open hardware uh, license, so that anyone can uh, any DIYer or any other company can uh, build. Uh, a channel compatible with uh, with our uh, with our format. So we want to encourage everyone to to join the game, and it could make a very interesting solutions for uh, mid-range, let's say, uh, mid-range priced uh, mixers, which are very good quality. We've, this is the most important thing we I've, I've worked upon, and that's how it became a more serious mixer than what I, I started to to do in the beginning. We have a very, very good power supply, a very quiet one. And we've made, I've made, I've taken every possible measure to, to eliminate the noise from everywhere. So that's, well, I'm very proud of that. And I'm very proud to, to say that our measures are, are very good uh, in terms of noise and features. And we're, we're surprised to, to have done such a, a nice quality mixer. Well, it's gonna be available this summer. The, the, the MDF uh, boxes are already available, but the metal ones are going to take a little while. So this midsummer, let's say. And uh, the pricing isn't really fixed. We're trying to find a sort of a way of selling it uh, because it's quite complex. You can, I, no one's going to buy just a channel in the beginning. So if I tell you a channel is around 100 euros, it's not going to tell you much. Uh, what we're planning to do first and mo foremost is sell configurations, presets. So if you add the prices for all of these modules, they would be around 2,000 euros. But what we're planning to do is sell it at about 15 or 1,600. So every uh, configuration is going to have a discount. Okay, so anyway, this would be about 100 euros, the basic channel. And each extra block would be about 30 or 40 euros. So this trip would be about 200 euros. And then you'd also need a docking block for each, uh, for each, for the main channels and for the for the extra blocks where you have your inputs and outputs. So let me show you those. For the main docking block, we have the master outputs with inserts. Uh, we have submix outputs with inserts. All of these are balanced. Uh, effect send if sends and returns, two of them. The power. Uh, a phone's output, sorry, uh, the power. And then for the auxiliary send, we have a send and st uh, stereo return. For the four uh, submixes, we have the four outputs balanced again with the inserts for each. So yeah, th those are the inputs, outputs. And then there's the inputs and outputs. Let me show you. 
the inputs for each channel are here. This is uh, the, the, the balanced input XLR and the jack, so line and the mic. This is an insert and this is the connector for the next blocks that are going to be connected here, the extra sends or buses or whatever. Also, on this block with the view, with the, this extra block with the view meter on the back, you have an individual balanced output and another insert for, each, for the channel. All of these are optional or you can have as many as you want except for the view meter which is only, it comes only at the end of the strip as logical.